Hello, welcome back. It's me, Matthew. Now, like I do always, I'm going to now show you a new archive gallery from other people from across the world showing that our skies are indeed still changing to this day as these heavenly bodies are reflecting through our horizons as we still got other objects in our system. Helion, Farada, Nibiru, Harrington, Arboda. Let's now look at these images. Here we have some attachments that have come through from Iris Turner from Florida. Now indeed, on the photographs, we're looking back in time and noticing this beam of light, this white colour that we see in the sky is indeed can't be our sun, it is and has changed. Even the moon as well, these past couple of days, it was spoke about on news media as well, about the blood moon. But when we look at the different sightings of the moon now, it's far too bright. We didn't see it like this in any other January. For 150 years ago, it wasn't like this. Now, Things have indeed changed. 2018, there's been a lot of big changes around the world. Now, look at the photograph closely. The area that you see of the sun is being whitewashed with chemtrails, thousands of feet high. They're blocking this out. Now again, I will still carry on saying it because in my belief, I know that that is a reflector in our skies. I've seen it in July of 2016. During the summer, I noticed this reflector. I was absolutely shocked to see that it wasn't our sun. They will make mistakes and they will not be able to hide it all the time. Let's now move to Iris's next photo. On the next image you can see clearly, can't you, there's a big change. Like all the other photos in different videos, you can see this strange formation, them lines on those chems. Now, she's had to get out of her motor car to take this photo on the highway, because at that time of the day, at 10 a.m., she was absolutely shocked to notice that people still got their headlights on and this dark shadow appeared in the skies. Everything just went like an eclipse. Can you see again this area of the so-called sun? Look at the red reflection just on the outside of it, the dark shadow above. Now I had an email as well that this could be a coming of a pole shift because there's many reports even on news media for these past two weeks of weather patterns that are completely erratic some places in the world where it's supposed to be hot is absolutely freezing temperatures. They've got snow and they haven't seen snow for years. There's animals as well that are falling onto the ground. Wildlife that's, it is again, just very frustrating because we are starting to see a big change. And still no one is speaking out through the media or even through the Vatican. They just don't want to know. It's all about money and they just don't want to speak out. I believe again that the members of the public across the world have the right to know of this big change. I am still shocked, just like Iris is and many of you in our community that notice that people don't look up because the media are not saying anything. They're so wrapped up into believing every story that they tell. Here again, on this next photograph as well, that's coming from Florida by this kind person in our community. Um, it is just outrageous, isn't it? And it proves something as well, because when you saw 
the image that Iris took on the highway, when she got back home, it hasn't moved. Can you see again this strange chem formation to the left side of the screen with those strange lines? It sticks, it stays there. It isn't natural, a natural cloud formation will move across the sky very smoothly like it did in the past years. I mean, the thing is as well, we're going to be in some deep trouble when this 5G with the towers, when they press the button, the power button to turn that system on, we're going to see some real strange skies even more. And it's like microwaves. This is going to affect everything twice as bad. We've just got to remember as well that people again walking round are not noticing they will turn a blind eye to this because again their government officials are not saying a word. Now like I do and you all full well know this I speak about Wormwood, the Frightener, the Destroyer and indeed people do seem to forget try and turn a blind eye to this true information I fully believe that this heavenly body with those other objects have made their way back and again I do believe our earth is affected it will go through another pole shift it's there's been evidence in the past of other pole shifts they've calculated it and also they've picked up evidence of this now this photograph I'm showing you again from our fantastic member of our community Iris is showing the truth look at that pink haze reflection can you see the dark sky above and those strange chem formations these are not clouds these are chemicals being spread in our atmosphere and what shows you the truth of this situation is that isn't our sun that is a reflector our sun is behind that reflector now our sun again is a long way away in our solar system but when we see that red haze it's giving it away that there's a problem a dimming the white colour you can see there isn't our sun, it's a LED light that's been invented and again being used by NASA and other corporations around the world. Shadow government is a big part of this too. Just taking a serious look at these photographs and remembering the past skies is what we need to do and I hope that these images will be recorded for the future to see the big differences. I mean again this photograph that you can see again on the screen has totally blown me away. I mean come on. How many photographs does it take for a member of public to just take a notice of these changes? Look at this strange chem formation here on the screen. I mean all of it is so very unnatural people still state as well demonic faces on the screen can you see this here there's something going on I mean this here is so unnatural all of it is so unnatural even seeing this object in the sky is so different it does look like an alien sky it doesn't look like our natural sky we've seen before are we now living amongst aliens, demons? Has CERN opened the gates to hell, the stairway to heaven? Something is going on. And Iris too is very worried about this. She remembers the day of the natural skies. She remembers seeing the birds that were flying freely around the area of the skies. But now birds seem to be very worried. They seem to be very stressed out. Again, there's smaller animals that are becoming extinct. There is fish that are becoming extinct. There is a lot of problems now around the world. People getting very, very stressed. And 
it is a very, very difficult situation to watch our world become like this. This here again is not our sun. You can see clearly this reflection. All of it is very much different now. Fantastic images, but again, they do look spectacular, but indeed they look very, very strange. And it just shows you, to me as well, that something is coming. They don't just cover the skies, just a geoengineer. They cover the skies as well to hide the truth. In Florida, it doesn't need to be geoengineered. Again, those heavily bodies would be affecting the Earth's magnetic field as they become closer towards our heavenly body, the Earth. Our moon as well, it's beaming far too bright in the night sky. We see a halo around the moon, but the halo is very red. Just like what we see of the so-called sun beaming through with that strange looking halo and to the other side you see different colors. Now again, we just got to again think out the box because there's no debunking these photographs because they are genuine. And like I say in most of my old videos as well, don't let those in power or even anybody think for you. In fact, the truth is we really have to think for ourselves living on this rock. Let's move now to the next photo. Now, on the last image that I was sent in, I'm not going to speak in scientific terms because I've heard as well of scientists turn around and say that chemtrails are vapor, water vapor contrails. So enough said than done. But in God terms, I would say these photographs that Iris sent in, we're all going to go home. We are all going to go to where we belong. Because again, they are transforming our earth, terraforming it for something else. So again, thank you, Iris, for these fantastic images, and God bless you. Okay, I've spoke too soon, haven't I? I've just got some more attachments coming in from Iris, and I believe that these should be showing as well. And I will do more videos to show everybody's photos, but these fascinated me, and I really hope that people are going to take notice of these photos, because what Iris did in about a couple of weeks ago we showed a video of her with showing the footage on a beach, this beach that she's taken this same photo. And in her email, she states as well that the, th this change is really getting stranger in the skies. She's fully aware that that isn't our sun. You can see the white light beaming through those chem formations as they spray very hard across our skies to hide the truth. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into this image just to get a closer look of this uh, reflector. Here we go. Can you see this now? Look at the state of this. Can you see this beam as well that's coming out to this side? I mean, with the photograph there would be an object that's being cloaked to the right side. There's other objects as well that would be there as well to the left side. Because when we look at the photograph, we can see clearly the sky is getting darker. There's a dark shadow. Like we see as well on the Alaska cams, we see a dark shadow as we see the image of the so-called sun in the skies. Let's move to Iris's next photograph. Here's the next photo that was taken around 1pm. I mean, come on, it's a worrying sight, isn't it, seeing these photos? Because they're 
changes are so so common now to see this people have got used to this commonness of seeing this big change let's just uh, zoom in onto this image as well that I was sent in to us to our community I mean anybody from the past if they took a look at this they would know that is not our son how can our son okay our natural son that we saw in our very early years and enjoyed feeling the heat of it and looking at our beautiful blue skies those beautiful cloud systems and taking a look at this a cloud system that they want us to believe that it is indeed it's a chem system is covering up the area of the Sun now our natural Sun that's way out there in our inner solar system would not look like this it just looks like a, a mess a white light reflecting above our atmosphere that again it's harming our plant life it's not the right source of light that we're used to as humans they know this it is an agenda I mean look at the, this look at this strange formation can you see again this color that's cutting through behind it as well if you look closely okay there is a huge reflection of an object that's behind this reflector it's now breaking away this is breaking this simulator that they've got this device now showing in 2018 is falling apart now the reason why I say this is because we can now start to see a celestial body something red that's behind here can you see this glow this is not a halo because the halo is not showing on this photo this is a round object that's been hidden it's been hidden too long and you can start to see the red colors now the different colors that's reflecting off it this huge celestial body is beaming through the other side of our horizons and it's been beaming for far too long this is a big event and again I hope that people can become aware of this because it's all about saving lives and prepping and preparing for the event here we have the next fascinating photograph that just shows that there is something wrong in our skies I'm going to zoom into this one as well okay first of all we can start to see chemtrails just down here the chem line typical chemtrails now to the right we're seeing there is a big problem now this is a genuine photograph okay there's a piece missing now I'm not trying to put fear up anybody I'm not trying to worry anybody but this has gone on for far too long and I can see exactly what's going on can you see again this orange reflection here this orange color that's reflecting on these chems it's coming from the other side now there's a object there's a big giveaway it's broken away there's something that's behind this simulator now again this simulator is above our earth's atmosphere these objects again are with between us and the Sun now this object is huge and it's eclipsing our natural Sun it's dimming look at the blue skies it's too dark our natural Sun will produce a lighter blue sky for that time of the day now I do speak of the same words but I'm just trying to get people to focus and notice because I do believe as well that when they use that Lucifer telescope and the STP telescope down at the South Pole they are tracking this and as they do track it they are indeed like you see on the photographs they're covering it up for the public not to see anything I'm just going to zoom in a bit more to show you this okay now what you're seeing again if you look closely let me try and zoom out just slightly for you okay 
what you're seeing okay is a false LED fluorescent light we see this on the ground as well it's too dark look closely again you can see this heavenly body just the round part of the object just here as well now again it's way out there but if this system that they're using this reflector decided to break down and switch off then the game is up because what you'll see is a shadow and a very dim sun everything will go dark they've spent many of dollars and pounds to produce this system that we see in the skies to again manipulate the public to deceive it's a deception the biggest deception in our life let me just zoom out as well because I just want to show you in Iris's image as well how dim the land is okay look again we've got this strange light source now and again look at the ground look at the sea look at the land it's too dark look at the roof here and down here it's reflecting wrong everything on the screen is a deception this is another genuine image this was taken around 2 p.m. in Florida and with the other email that Iris sent in as well she's very very worried about this she sent a long email saying she's just absolutely shocked she's worried about her family her friends her neighbors and even when this happens there's pets that just don't want to be outside I mean animals again they're very hypersensitive to any big change look again on the photograph we're seeing that true image of the reflector can you see the corners here and what is interesting as well to see which they are cloaking okay is this red haze no halo but you're now seeing this red color coming from a celestial body now as I've stated on a email and other videos as well that this heavenly body is between us and the Sun okay now we've heard sayings as well let the light shine through the darkness three days of darkness there's been lots of um, wordings about this that's been hidden that's not being spoke about anymore we've got to remember the past look closely at the photograph there is a reflection a red reflection coming through behind this reflector now the, again what I just said the reflector is above our Earth's atmosphere being controlled by technology but this haze that you see behind is between us and the Sun now I have no idea how far away it is but it's getting bigger and it's causing the skies to become darker I have said this on many videos okay by 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. even 10 a.m. we start to see the skies become very dark across the world please and I urge everybody to take notice of this nothing to do with rain or cloud systems it's to do with an object that is dimming our natural Sun causing the reflector to become weaker at that point in time we can see the fake clouds so blatantly obvious now isn't it we can see those chemtrails being sprayed we can even know now that they're spraying many parts of the world that don't need to be geoengineered it's finally out the bag look at the photograph I mean let me just zoom in on this okay what I've done is I've gone a bit closer I apologize if the area of the reflector is very bright in your eyes but taking real good notice of this is so important to humanity and I hope this video comes out so people can see and notice this 
What we're seeing again is this orange color that's reflecting these fake cloud formations. The orange color gives it away. Now, Iris has hit the jackpot because on these photographs, you can see this huge celestial body that's been out there in our system for many years. It's been picked up as well by infrared technology, but you can't hide the reflections. Look at the color of this orange haze behind this reflector. Please, indeed, look strongly at this. It's so important. It's nothing to do with any camera, refraction, reflection. It's a object that's reflecting strong. Now, when we see the sun down, or even now when we see this photograph, when you do look at it round about them times, please look at the cloud systems to the other side. You will see the reflection from Wormwood the Frightener, the Destroyer. Many people call it many things. Planet Nine, Nibiru. It's the same celestial body. It doesn't matter if they change the name to make it sound nicer, Planet Nine. It's still that object that's being cloaked and covered to the very end. And this, again, this color is causing a huge shadow to our skies we can see the dimness to the land so iris i mean i am so made up that you sent these photographs in because we can now see what is happening so i'm going to finish this video off now to everybody in our community and i'll be back again very shortly to show images from japan from virginia to the uk and other parts of the world god bless you all and please again Thus take this and remember of our skies from the past and keep looking around about them times between 12 and 1 and 10 a.m. You will see a difference. You will see those colors beaming through. God 